Name is um, Quentin Flynn. And he does the voice of Axel in this game. I've never, never heard of this person ever. Well, when we see him and he starts talking, think of... Uh, think of... Um, shit, I just said his name and now I've forgotten. A, a blonde-haired naked man. Oh, yeah, a blonde-haired naked man. Or, or a blonde-haired man with only the top of a head and robots everywhere else. <laughs> He's got that real imaginative eye of mine. Just so you know. <laughs> riding from Metal Gear. He's riding from Metal Gear, yeah. Okay. Clay. Hi. Yes. When you go feed the cats, you'll notice the bowl that we put like the, the extras in. It's a yeah. little less tonight. And the oh. completely clean counters I just cleaned up are now a little bit messy. Less clean. All right. A uh, small little fluffy cat. Helped herself to that. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, as long as the food gets eaten, that's, that's all I care about. Which, speaking of our cats, Clayton just sent me a reel, and I haven't had a chance to verify, and so I want to verify this, but it said oh, yeah. that, like, uh, hey, we're in, in October. There's a lot of black cats. Uh, I can confirm it is October right things. now. <laughs> ha. Um, they get a lot of, like, bad rep. So, especially during October, it's going to be they dangerous also get, for black cats. They also get treated incredibly inhumanely. Yes. Weirdly, only in certain places, and in other places, they're highly revered. Oh. Um, but this reel was like, hey, three facts. And the first one was that black ca cats that are females are actually extremely rare. It has something to do with the chromosomes that to, to be a black cat, a boy cat, um, a male cat only needs the one chromosome, but girls need two. Is it kind of like black. how a male... Um Calico cat is extremely rare, right? Or like how an orange uh, female cat. I don't know. I want to look it up. I'm curious about it. We have two all black female cats. Not all black. Uh, Sparrow, Sparrow, Sparrow has a little, a little button of uh, white on her chest. Yeah. And who knows what her tail looked like? Yeah. yeah who knows? But yes. And that Texas. wasn't even a dig. I mean, she might have had like a white tip on that tail. Texas is black on black on black. All right, so um, I think I'm going to learn fighting now in this game. That's Setzer. Did you say, I'm sorry, uh, Seltzer? Okay, got Set. it. Set. Seltzer? Got it. Set -zer. Oh, he's an asshole. He doesn't want to give me his autograph. He doesn't have time for me. He was originally in Final <laughs> Fantasy VIII. I don't know in what capacity, if he was like a bad guy. He kind of looks like a bad guy, but...
it kind of got dark and now it's light again. What is with this time? It's Twilight Town. Is it always Twilight? It is. How do you know I when mean, you go guys to sleep? Remember Roxas and hey, Hainer got into a fight? Yeah. They pissed at each other. I'm emotional. All's forgiven, boys. Our first match of today's struggle tournament will be between Roxas and his. We're no longer fighting. Hainer. All right. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't have counter. <coughs> oh, I still don't have roll. Damn it. That's no, you don't. Problem. You took your orbs. I'm taking his orbs. Don't orb me, bro. He's taking your orbs. The orbs are colored, too, I see. Do I actually have to collect them to count them? Seems yeah. like it. All right. Well, excuse me. I'm just going to run around. I mean, what you could do is just get more orbs than your opponent and then just run away from them and don't let them hit you. <laughs> but you could also just get all of the orbs. If you get I was going to say, he has 40 left. Come on. Let me clear this bitch out. No, he's running he's gonna, away. He's got to run and collect the orbs. On, no, on the bitch. Give me him back. Give me him back. I didn't get all of them. Oh, it makes sense there's an achievement for getting all 200. That doesn't surprise me. Yes, there is. And the winner is Roxas. Not even friendship will slow this kid down. And Hainer put up a great fight, too. The golden snitch is worth five, 150 orbs. Oh, I can't <laughs> believe it. I guess I taught you well. Fun fighting you. Yeah, well, I didn't, wise guy. Hey, let's find a way to cheer you up. Nah, that's all right. Out of the way. You in a rush to lose? <laughs> no one's questioned this thing before? I mean, seriously? No, he just lives there. I think it's right. You got to catch it in your mouth. You got to almost swallow it. Ha! 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 Nice. Don't mess with your elders. Whoa! Just look at those sparks fly. I guess Cypher didn't expect to fight one of his own boys. So tough. Oh, damn. You're mine. He dropped all his orbs. I, I'm not sure what just happened. He knocked him out. Um, but the winner is Phoebe in a positively blistering comeback. Uh. Clay said, did Christopher Nolan do the audio in this game? The dialogue is so low compared to the special effects. That's a good joke, Clay. You know, Vivi's his friend and he lost to him and now he's like beat up by friend. Yep. Cypher's withdrawn from the struggle for third place. So I'm in third now? Oh, baby! <laughs> Wait, that's it? Quentin says, screw that guy. He stole the sorting hat. I'm going to do a quick save. Always a good idea. 
I've been taught by the best. Meg. Meg. All right. Now I guess I'll talk to him again and we do the next step in the tournament. Yep. All right. Yeah, let's Semi-finals. do it. Semi-finals. I guess this is finals, actually. Yeah, it's finals. Let's skip. Keep it clean, fellas. I feel like something's going to happen. This can't be a straightforward fight. Why not? I feel like there should be some storyline. Because he's darkness. I feel like midway through or something, story should happen. Oh, damn. Oh, you're collecting yours back and mine. Oh, you son of a bitch. I bet he has treasure magnet. Oh, <laughs> makes no. a stop. No, stop judging him based on his, on his appearance, Shelby. Which is true because VV. We've seen VV before, and he has always looked like. Yes, he has. Oh my God! I just had fucking deja vu. Uh, I don't like this. About what? This exact moment. Just what happened. Me oh. doing this fight. <laughs> That's one way to do it. I'm boring. I was expecting really something. There we go. This is what I was expecting. <laughs> Play. You're gonna have an angry Meg on your tail in a second. Again? I was taking a sip. Again? Again? Again! Slap these floppy fellers around. Mm. That's what he said. <laughs> Leveled up. Aren't I Level cool? Level three. When you see that, like, green triangle, <laughs> you should always be jamming on the F. Okay, I forgot that. I don't know what that is, but I'm... Meg says he's not wrong. The controls are how you tell them apart. Sorry, I found that hilarious. Hey, there's two of the same dudes. There's three of that dude. Roxas, all right. Fight, fight, fight. You really don't remember. It's me. You know, Axel. Axel? Talk about blank with a capital B. Man, oh man. Even the dusks aren't gonna crack this. Wait a sec. Tell me what's going on. This town is his creation, right? Which means we don't have time for a Q&A. You're coming with me, conscious or not. Then you'll hear the story. I don't remember from the recap. Is Axel a good guy or bad guy? Um, Axel... Was he the one that was a part of the, the goth group, the goth kids? He is. And he then was but actually them. was helping? Yeah, there, there was the organization, and a small sect of them were trying to overthrow the organization. And Axel was with the group that was going to overthrow the organization. The Keyblade's chosen one. But then he okay, betrayed them. Betrayed who? The, the organization? Or? The, the people who were going to betray the organization, Axel was a double agent. Okay. That's more like it. He's got purple he, tears, y'all. Oh, he just God, called, I was being just, sarcastic looking at chat. What is he, the F thing? He did. He helped Sora and Naminé in Chain of Memories. Don't make me mad. 
All right, I can't. Oh. Hey, do I ring any bells yet? I keep trying to roll Dodge. because I'm used to that. Yes. Uh, hopefully, I think you do get it. I think it's a story progression move, and you will get it. Maybe up with this fight, I don't remember. Yeah. Um. What Meg says is he helped to nominate, which inadvertently helped Sora. So it was you. Raxus. This man speaks nonsense. Roxas! Don't let him deceive you! Roxas! 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 You just beat up that silly little boy. Oh, it was never him. It was never Vivi. Ladies and gentlemen, Roxas, our new top struggler. Roxas? Sad sir, sad sir. Seltzer's here. I want the somebody to be out yelling in between the beats when they're going sad sir, sad sir. Somebody go on the rocks, on the rocks, <laughs> on the rocks. You got anything to say before I start? Nope, boring. Save. He's like, my favorite one of me is White Claw. Let's do it. Thank you, Meg. I'm going to look up what Setzer was, because I don't remember. <laughs> I never played the Sparkling. game with Setzer in it. Setzer... Meg says, dude, he actually looks like a human white claw. You are correct. Setzer was a playable character in Final Fantasy VI. So he was a playable character, a good guy. He also looks crazy in the art for Final Fantasy V, which came out in 1994. Damn. He said my life is a chip and what? And I couldn't hear him. I, I couldn't hear him either. It sounded like he said chicken nugget. <laughs> oh, my yes. Life. Good old chip. Oh, fuck Dodge. <laughs> my life is a chicken nugget. It's time to ante up. I like to dip it in sweet and sour sauce. I forgot. I needed to fix the audio where the game is quieter. And Oh, you son of a bitch. Vivi did one of those too, where he hit you real big for a lot of orbs. This isn't what we agreed on. I didn't agree to shit, bitch. You just said a thing. Oh no. No one's trying to run away. Stop acting like I'm running away. I'm at the edge of the field. It's fine. Ooh, Just avoid him for the rest of the match. I was just doing orbs. <laughs> oh yeah, Greg, I saw you got your internet back. I, was, I have, I have a half-written message in my head to you, and then I had, I had too much shit going on. Too much Chick Fil A. What? Why are you fingering? Why are you got your finger pointing at me? Because he was going to do rude. a big speech, and now nobody cares. <laughs> He's like, I eh, forget it. Yeah, I literally got 
set down like two minutes before stream went live. <laughs> oh, give me my belt. Well, I guess I'll use that. Why not? I got nothing else. A struggle trophy. The trophy for... Okay. Again, these kids are fucking suicidal. I, they're just like plastic bats. Yeah, they're like foam bats. With. Oh god, they're oh they're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. oh. You hate heights, so it's... I had so I went on an escalator today and I was like, mm, I don't like it. I don't like it. Drops yeah, the trophy gross. and kills an old lady in the street Thanks below. Ton, Roxas. <laughs> One more it is his world, so he could just recreate it. I've got a present too, for all of us. Whoa. No, my God! Seriously? God, I was thinking, I was like, oh man, here it comes. <laughs> Wait, they're gonna have to get a new trophy for next year. Oh, Kyrie's gotten older. It's been a year. Time has progressed on their island. I should say their world. Up in their ball game, and they won't go with me. Not today. Sorry. Aw, why not? Do you remember those boys who used to hang out with us? Riku? Yeah. I wonder whatever happened to him. I sure miss him. He's far away. But I know we'll see him again. Sure. Of course Spoiler. we will. Spoiler. And the other boy? What other boy? The one who was with Riku and me all the time. We played together on that island. His voice always used to be there. And now it's gone. I can't think of his face or his name. There's the island. I feel awful about it. I think it's funny how so they could see the island see. from like where they I'm live, the but you can't see where they live from the island. Yeah. <laughs> I can give you a hint. Starts with an S. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> well played, Quinn. Very good. Feet are huge. She grows into them. I, you guys keep saying that. All right, we're on the other island now. No, they're oh, not. No, no, we're not. We're just on the edge. Okay. Kyrie. Sam. Sebastian. Stinky. What's that? Trying to come up with S names. A letter. I wrote it yesterday. Stanford. I can't remember. 
Oh, there you go. I said that no matter where he is, that's quite a name. I'll find him one day. And when I stopped writing, I remember we made a promise, something important. This letter is where it starts. I know it. Wow. I hope wow. He, he will. Starts with an S. Right? Sora? Oh, she remembered. Restoration at 79%. And that jumped up. Wonder what that's about. His progress it's very weird. is astounding. So what happened? Namine's encounter with Roxas put his heart in contact with Kairis. And that in turn affected Sora. You see? Namine. She's a wonder. She wasn't born like other nobodies. She can interfere with the hearts and memories of Sora and those aligned with him. But who's nobody is she? I could tell you. But I'd have to kill you. But first, perhaps you could tell me your true name. It's Ansem. <gasps> <laughs> it's an honor, Ansem. What? That's Thought crazy. I killed him in like fucking five no different way. levels last time. It's too soon. You can't seriously. <laughs> handsome or handsome? Get to know. <laughs> Why do you hesitate? You who has been ruthless towards those who turned their backs on the organization. But it's not like that. He didn't betray us. He can't come back. If he doesn't return, you know what you must do. Or you will face the consequences. So you'll turn me into a dusk. I'll do it, if that's what you want. He's still falling. That tower was tall. That was a big-ass tower. And now maybe they'll put some handrails in there. there. They'll so stop climbing this. up where they shouldn't fucking be. Dreaming. But which parts were the dream? Did we really win the trophy?
A lot of cutscenes tonight. Yeah, the intro to this game is uh, very cutscene heavy. Right! I was thinking the same thing, Quinn. Why is everyone all of a sudden holding up their balls? And I get Sora's has been taken by Ansem, but why did we randomly all just be like, look at my balls, look at these balls? Roxas's. Hey, Roxas ain't got no balls. This is uncomfortable for him. Sunset Terrace. Find those mysteries. Crane. Here it comes. No. No. It's going to run you over. No. No. <laughs> and that's a loud crane. Remember that bit from Austin Powers where he was riding that really slow steamroller down the hallway and the guy was like way at the other end of the hallway screaming, holding his arm up. Nope. It's been and, years since I've watched Austin Powers. And then Austin Powers is like, get out of the way! Get out of the way! And they're going so slow, and he has minutes to get out of the way. And then they run him over really slow with the steamroller. More orbs. Look at this game in balls and orbs. Oh, okay, okay. I don't have duck, do I? You don't. Oops. You have jump. Oops. <laughs> I hit the Windows key. <laughs> that's funny. You have jump, and that's it. Oh, right, jumpy, jumpy. An aerial recovery, apparently. Is it the same? I think it is random. Oh. Oh, I have to actually hit a button? Oh, Yeah, okay. your goal is to F at the end of the alleyway. I did. I thought I'd just have to, like, touch it. I effed at the end of the hallway. Yeah, kid, that was totally normal. Oh, it's just you, Roxas. Were you throwing a ball? A ball flew out of nowhere and totally startled me. I know. This explains one of the seven wonders. It does? These people are so stupid. Rox says nothing about how orbs were just flying out of the wall. Totally normal. This explains everything. It does? Oops. Okay, there we go. Somehow I got off my screen. Oh. Oh, he has a map. Well, you said seven wonders, but there's only five spots in this map, kiddo. Well, um, Maybe one of them more was... in another one? I think two of them were back at the main part of town, and they've already been 
explained. I think that's what happened. Anyways, oh. you only need to find three more. Yeah, apparently. This is such a loud train. Oh, wait, I remember. You, the next two happen later. Oh, okay. Baby? Now it's V V V. V V V V V V V. It's like bo 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 bo, but V V V V V V V. Oh great! They're all like little little. Oh! Oh, I fell in the water. Okay. You have guard. I don't know. That explains a whole mystery. You've done it. Don't you see? None of this shit makes sense. <laughs> oh, that's right. You have skin. No. No, no. Go away with the new. There we go. Okay. It's like, oh, don't be getting that to me. Hello, random kid. Did I see anyone go by? I just got here myself, but I haven't seen anyone. Even all grown up, these tunnels still spook me. I'd best be on my way. Wuss. Wimp. Hey, we just talked to you. Well, he said he was going to be on his way. Oh. Hello. You spin to Sunset Hill? The sunset there is breathtaking. Long ago, my wife and I would... Ah, never mind. They fucked there. Oh. I'm banged. Bow, wow. Well, uh, hello. We'll be able to get to that. Oh, maybe I can get on top of the train. <gasps> oh, yeah. I can get on top of the train. Yeah, if you go up to the train, you can just triangle to the top of it. Or F yes. to the top of it. Oh. I was going to wait to jump on him. That's more fun. You're right about that. Ah, oh, fuck. F and then F again. So much effing in this game, man. Well, you gotta it's stop effing around, all right? Looks like just here. We got an ability ring. 
Well, Leave that up your take AP. Take a look and see what that is. Oh, which will give you guard if it gives you two. Huh? What were you saying? That ability green um, upped your AP. Oh. And if it gave you two, that means you can equip guard. Give me and one. It didn't. It gave you one. <laughs> right. Which is an ability I rarely use, guard. Need something with this? Oh no, of course. Oh, I think my doggy wants to go outside. Okay. Be right back. Give me a couple minutes. Oh, Have no, fun with your himself. evil clone. It's Dark Link. <laughs> this is Quentin. Look at that. I can see my HP I'm working with. I love it. Roxas, you good? You just kind of passed out. Did you win? Uh, no, I passed out. Let's check out this big, scary bag. And three perfectly I, placed trash cans. I don't like this one. Try to stop the bag from jumping on it? By jumping on it. Oh. Gotta stay on that F. This game is all about that F. Sames. <laughs> ah, got a horsey. I'm gonna win at the rodeo this year. It's like one of those little. Wow, whoopee cushion bags. <laughs>
cutscened away from it and run all the way back. Me. Only <laughs> if we uh, had done that last. I know, I was about to say, you can solve them in any order, so... Destiny. In that case, let's be friends. Okay. I don't feel like it's cooperating that, with Destiny. It's the thought that counts, Quentin. I was trying to think of that um with anything. That game mode in Destiny where you like five v five, but you're fighting the environment. You can teleport over and Cypher. Gambit. I know. Tomorrow. So he'd have been like, Destiny, huh? Let's team up in Gambit later. Uh, this is a joke I was trying to make, but it's way not timely because I waited too long because I couldn't think of it. Oh. Very intriguing looking train. It's really true. And there's really no one aboard. What's the catch? There's got to be a catch, right? Then it's real? Let's they didn't the see a train. Let's go in. What? Um, you get hurt. Huh? The train will be arriving shortly. Squish. The inside of that train looks like the other one, though. It does. Come on. A train came from the beach. Th there was no driver, right? Let's go. Right? <sighs> Quinn says, that's not shortly, that's now. <laughs> Let's go home and work on the paper. The rumors were bogus. Shortly is any time between now and just a bit. It sound good if we write about all the work we did. But what about the last one? The seventh wonder? Who cares? I do. Come on, Pence. Whatever. Roxas. Painter's so moody. It's at that haunted mansion. Closing up a bag of chips, and I'm hoping my mic's not picking up that loud crinkling I'm putting under my desk.
Why'd you go back here? I'm looking for the mansion. I don't know where the fuck it is. Oh, you are you were going the right way, and now you're going the wrong way. Oh, it's in the woods? Yeah. Oh, okay. Into the woods. Is that you back at your desk? Yeah. You want to talk about you and Logan? Uh, I want to talk about your... Uh... <sighs> Chicken Big Mac. Oh, yeah. I had that yesterday. I had it oh, today. One moment. Cutscene. You know something? Whoa. We were going to check the mansion out tomorrow. It is the most suspicious place. Right. Even Cypher's gang was going to help. Cypher? Yeah. Hainer asked him to. So, what are we Did looking see for? No, I was putting lotion no. on my hands. They say there's a girl. Nominee was like creepily in the side of the window up there. Oh. Even though no one's lived here for years. God, it's killing me. She's still there. Creepy. Island. Who's that supposed to be? Kyrie? Yeah, that's Kyrie. Her hair color's wrong. Well, she only has so many crowns. That's the organization. This is me? And Axel's here, too. You are best friends. Very funny. Don't you want to know the truth? About who you really are? No one knows me better than me. Of course. But... I don't get what's been happening lately. You know these three, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. They're from the dreams. About a year ago, really bad drawings. Some things happened, and I had to take apart the memories chained together in Sora's heart. But now, I'm putting them all back exactly the way they were. It's taken me a long time, but pretty soon, Sora will be his old self again. The process has been affecting you too, Roxas. You mean the dreams? Yes. You and Sora are connected. And in order for Sora to become completely whole again, he needs you. Me? What for? You hold half of what he is. He needs you, Roxas. Namine? Namine, who are you? I'm a witch with power over Sora's memories and those around him. A witch? Where are all your That's warts? That's what Diz called me. But I don't know why I have this. Burn her, says Quentin. I just do. I'm not even sure there's a right way for me to use it. Hmm. I can't help you there. It's funny. This is Roxas's theme. Suddenly, I, I feel like I don't know myself at all. I guess I would like to know. What do you know about me that I don't? You... You were never supposed to exist, Roxas. What? How could you even say such a thing? Even if it were true? 
I'm sorry. Nah. <laughs> I guess some things really are better left unsaid. Quinn says he was an accident. Wrap it up, boys and girls. Roxas. Roxas. Huh? Did you see her? Yeah. Watch the window. Closely. Ah, oh, lame. Roxas, you crazy. That's just the curtains moving. There must be a draft somewhere. I'm surprised this old place even has curtains. Yeah. Well, let's head back to the usual spot. Hainer and a letter waiting. Hey guys, how'd it go? Some point you guys can talk about your your feelings on the chicken Big Mac. Flapping in the wind. <laughs> I figured as much. The report's already done. All right. I mean, I can give a quick summary. So, wanna go find Hainer? He's probably at the station. An outstanding but, meh. You know, we only have two more days together. Huh? Summer vacation, remember? Oh. Right. Great. We're gonna fall off this place again. Remember, he didn't fall off, but it was close. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we search the town. Right, Quinn. I was thinking the Next same thing. Fair. That doesn't make sense. The last day of summer. Maybe they go to different schools and are in different that. grades. You give me an ulcer. Cause this town's that big. You explode from all that ice cream first. Yeah, ha 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 Why did you show him the train? Because he missed the trip to the beach. Hmm. That's almost kind of you. No. What about you? Are the holes in your memory starting to fill in? Yes. The haze is clearing. The same thing is happening to everyone who had ties to Sora. Very soon, to them, he'd be like a good friend who's gone away for a year. I've waited and now I want to know. What is it that you want? Revenge. Revenge. Now for the finishing touches. First, we must dispose of Namine. She did a splendid job with Sora, but it's high time she disappeared. Roxas isn't the only one who was never meant to exist. Take care of it, Ansem. Restoration at 97%. Gorge, is that all that's left of the worlds taken by the Heartless? Those worlds will be restored if we do. After all this seriousness right? and then Goofy but just starts talking, it's like, whoa. Him, <laughs> yeah. That's right, Goofy's in this game. <laughs> and disconnected. What's going to happen to this place and to us? All worlds begin in darkness and all so end. The heart is no different. You see, darkness is the heart's true essence. That's not true! The heart may be weak, and sometimes it may even give in. But I've learned... Remember when Ansem turned into a boat? God, Ansem was just so annoying. I know now, without a doubt, Kingdom Hearts is light. Now, Sora, let's close this door for good. Take care of her. you said before I'm always with you too 
I'll come back to you. I promise. I know you will. And then this part of our VOD was muted. <laughs> We've got to find Riku and King Mickey. But, uh, where do we start looking for that there door to the light? Pure door? Gorge, that's the king's seal. Hey, have you seen King Mickey? Let's go. This is stuff we never actually saw. Yeah, that was the beginning of Chain of Memories. I've been to see him. He looks a lot like you. Who are you? Ooh, now that's a sword. Yeah, that's, that's a, a cool keyblade. That's a Oathkeeper. It was in the first game. That's pretty here. It the didn't do justice in the first game. And the other one's Oblivion, which is also in the first game. That's a good point. Can they say shut up? I mean, they did. What are you going to do about it? You going to call Bob? Have Bob come down and give him a talking to? The sixth day. Jeez. Man, I could not sleep last night. Guys? Huh? Oh. He's too far restored. Gonna cancel this game. You have a kid saying shut up. Okay, now, Logan and Clayton. What are your thoughts on the chicken Big Mac? Um an overwhelming meh. I didn't like the kind of chicken they used for the patty, the chicken patty they used in it. It was the same one they used for the McChicken. It was basically like a large, oversized, boneless chicken wing. See, I was like, if I were to try to get it, it would basically just be three pieces of bread, two chicken patties, and some sauce, because I remove everything else. I'm like, there yeah. ain't no fucking reason. And the lettuce Clay? went everywhere, which is oh, another reason. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Clay has big feelings on that lettuce. <laughs> and the lettuce went everywhere. I didn't. I wasn't a fan of that. I don't usually get Big Macs, so. I've been given these icky orders to destroy you. I usually get QPCs. Come back with me. We're best friends, right? Sure, but I'm not getting turned into a dusk for. Wait a sec. You remember now? E yeah. Great. But yeah, that's what I said. Boneless yeah, chicken wings. Sure and all. So, uh, um, what's our boss's name? You know, Logan, there's a certain kind of person that doesn't really respect when people like to be uh, called certain can't things. Believe this. I don't get it. If they're called boneless chicken wings. It's 
not polite to call them. They'd like to be called homeless chicken wings. It's sort of disrespectful to call them anything else. Exactly. Especially to do it on purpose. Precisely. Anyways, Logan, Clayton, what's your opinion on it? Now that Logan is done dead naming Stolen Chicken Wing, <laughs> um, uh, I thought it was fine. I didn't have any problem with it. It's just a messy burger. Like, it didn't. I wish the chicken maybe had a little more breading on it, or had some sort of to the mansion. spice the to it. Like, I don't know. It was. You can do a lot with chicken. Yeah, you can do a lot with chicken that you can't do with beef, and they just kind of put breaded chicken on a bun. Yeah, I think if I want to... I don't think I would get it again. I would rather just get two McChickens. Because that's basically what it was. And you don't get, like, the messy lettuce. Yeah, Quinn says, I've been getting uh, Big Macs more because I have a shit ton of reward points, but yeah, the shredded lettuce doesn't work on a burger. The rocks is the you can, for the same amount of points, you get a free Big Mac. You can also get a free QPC. Fine. I see how so. it is. <laughs> oh, Steve. He says, yeah, QPC and double QPC are top, but I haven't had fast food in so long. Going low-carb sucks. Have you tried the different low-carb pasta options yet? Bonza is the it's like an orange box. That's the brand that we like to use. But if you're gonna be doing like chickpea based pastas, just so you know, they cook so much quicker than flour pasta, like pasta that's made from flour and yeast. Uh, so you you uh, it takes like four or five minutes to cook that shit. I have um, some dried chickpeas and uh, a miller for my um, KitchenAid that my mom's been wanting me to make some uh, chickpea pasta with. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. It's the weekend right now. Maybe I'll do it next weekend. <laughs> Steve said we tried the heart of palm pasta and some other one. It's a very weird texture. It does have a different texture to it. Um, what I do is I just put some meatballs with it and sauce, and it's, it's fine. And I've been doing this I thing like where instead of buying pre-made meatballs, this thing is just floating up in the air. Um, I've been making my own meatballs, and then cooking them, and then freezing them. And then I just warm them up like normal on pasta night. That I like way they are pasta. less preservatives, and I can control the, uh, the level of the turkey meat that goes in. So I get like a 97% lean turkey. I don't think we... Clayton, we had um, mac and cheese based chickpea. Hmm. Clay, was that chickpea? Yeah, chickpea okay. pasta with um, I think a vegan cheese sauce interesting yeah. i tried it, that i think that was the whole point it was supposed to be a vegan macaroni and cheese it um it didn't go over well the first time yeah but clayton tried it the second time and said it was better yeah so it's, we're gonna have to it's a careful to procedure with it. Yeah. Are, are regular noodles not vegan i think it was the cheese oh there's eggs in it uh, yeah maybe Milk. so Mm, yeah, there's, turns out there's a lot of stuff in mac Is and cheese. Is there milk and noodles? No, we're cheese. talking about mac and cheese. Oh, yeah, the cheese I understand. I'm talking about the noodles themselves. Um, I wouldn't know, honestly. We had this discussion, Clayton. We were talking about this the other day. We never Googled it after we had the discussion, though. Do people consider yeast? Oh, right, yeah, to, this whole thing. Is, is that... If you eat yeast, are you not vegetarian? Because that's a live bacteria. How, how microscopic do you go and consider? Um, According to uh, Gemini doing a quick Google search, it says, yes, yeast is vegan because it is not an animal. It's a single-celled fungus. 
so fungus is okay. And if you're gonna say, <laughs> and if you're gonna say mushrooms are animals, then sure. But I didn't know yeast was a fungus. I mean, let's not let's not base all of our opinions on a single AI search. No, whatever this Gemini is knows exactly what it's talking about. Is yeast fungus? Gelato uh, is, is a vegan. This Chicken is, is all a of vegan? the problems of AI. You do one search, you get on one the answer. National you go, yep, Institute. This is what I'm basing all of my opinions on. <laughs> the National uh, Library of Medicine website. Now we're talking. NCBI.NLM.NIH.gov. So you right. know it's Syrian. That's National okay. Health and Organization. Under the section for yeast, under morphology, yeasts are a fungus that grow a solitary cell that reproduce by budding. So that's no like when they on the vegan portion. <laughs> when they um. Well, I didn't ask about vegan. I asked about it oh. as fungus. Oh, okay, okay. And fungus fungi is vegan, right? Like oh gosh. <laughs> Is fungus vegan? <laughs> we need to know a vegan. Anyone know a vegan? Uh, let's be real. I think it's always going to be opinion based, anyways. Like on the you, website, who's ve vegan or vegetarian? Like how far they take it personally. Howtovegan.com. On the website, allplants.com. All right. They post the question: Are mushrooms vegan? Yes, mushrooms are completely vegan friendly, even though they're part of the fungi family. Uh, and are not classified as vegetables. They're entirely plant-based and considered vegan-friendly. Mushrooms have a meaty, quote, texture and are often used in substances mm -hmm. uh, as a substitute in recipes because of it, this quality. Yep. I've seen um, burgers with uh, portobello buns. Oh, oh, man. Yes. Those are good. I've had one once. Oh, that sucks, Quentin. Big Quinn says, I know a vegan, but she's kind of forced to because she can't properly digest meat. Right. Uh, 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 uh. But to answer the original question, yes, yeast is vegan friendly. All right, then. I didn't know it was a fungus. Mm -hmm. a microscopic organism. Which I guess it still is, but... Right. Your mind's made up? Why did the Keyblade choose me? I have to know. You can't turn on the organization! Ooh. <laughs> that drawing gives me a headache, too. So it's quick. Organization 13. They're a bad group. That was on his pants or good. when he got out of bed. Was the They're Roman numeral 13. People who wish to be whole. To that end, they're desperately searching for something. What? Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Funny? It's just... I think I've been running away from the question I really want to ask. What's going to happen to me now? Just tell me that. Title card. This really matters anymore. <laughs> yeah. You are nominate. There's no knowledge that has the power to change your fate. Even if it doesn't, I want to know. I have the right to know. A nobody doesn't have a right to know. Nor does it even have the right to be. But what is a nobody? Diz, we're out of time. Too many nobodies. Roxas, nobodies like us are only half a person. You won't disappear. You'll be whole. I'll disappear? She said no, you won't disappear. Outburst. No, you won't disappear. You'll... Wait. I still didn't hear her say the word won't. Uh, Roxas, we will meet again. And then we can talk about everything. I may not know it's you. And you may not know it's me. But we will meet again. Someday soon. I promise. Let her go. Nominate. <laughs> yeah. 
These drawings appear to have deep meaning. Well, they're pretty bad drawings. Oh, look, a map. <laughs> shitty map. Of the mansion? A shitty map. A corner map. Honestly, Steve, cutting out all, like, oh, fuck. red is going to help with doing a low-carb diet. Clayton manages to do it. I, I struggle. What, to cut carbs out? Yeah, and cut bread out. Although, actually, we did get a lot better. Like, I don't even really... <laughs> um... We don't really eat bread bread anymore. Like, I'll have, like, when I have a hot dog, I'll have a hot dog bun. But most of our biggest thing is pasta, and that's why we switched over as much as to chickpea base that we could. Is rice carbs? Yeah. Extremely. But mm. here's the, the interesting thing about rice, and this is something that I've been piddling around with. Um, have you guys heard about how you can have resistant starch when it comes to your rice? No, I've never heard of that at all. Okay, so say I were to cook rice and we were having it for dinner tonight. Um, you're going to have it immediately. And so when rice comes out immediately after being cooked, it is very starchy. It is very heavy, and it can make your blood sugar spike. However, if you properly cool your rice and put it in the fridge overnight, the next day... The starches have converted, so they're resistant starches. And that's actually better for you. And it doesn't make your blood sugar spike. It sounds complicated. It's not. You just make it one day and then eat it the next. And so what I see a lot of, like, people Logan, talking about... Logan, you have about, made your own broth from bones. It is not complicated. That's true. Um, what a lot of people will do is they'll make their rice... And I've seen some of them, which they'll put it in the fridge. Or what they'll do is they'll get, like, um, ice cube silicone. Uh, what do you call those? Trays? Trays, Papers. yeah. Um, and they'll pack their rice in it to a certain serving size, a cup or half a cup or whatever, freeze them, take them out of your silicones, put them in Ziplocs or whatever, like we have... Use reusable plastic bags that we use um, and put them in your freezer and then all you do is whenever you want to have rice you pull it out and you microwave it with a little bit of water and they say it tastes just like normal. Huh. So, yep. But you that's get what I was that gonna resistant ask. starching. That's what I was going to ask is that by reheating it the second time do you bring back the whatever starch properties that it originally had? Mm -mm. Or does it it's stay? already converted to the resistant at that ah, point. Okay, cool. So I've gotten um I've gotten real into the pre cooking stuff. Like my, my sandwiches and my lunch and uh, my sandwiches. My breakfast and my lunch. So that's something I've been considering is getting more like silicones from Amazon that are like cup sized that I can do our rice in. Because I like eating rice. There is nothing quite like a nice hot from the rice cooker serving of rice. Not gonna lie, fried rice because you do that after a day a day later. Oh yeah, onigiri. You do that a day later after the rice is cooled. Those are good things to try if you want to do more resistant starches to avoid blood sugar. The, uh, the onigiri that I make, I uh, I let it set for like a few hours before I make it. You may not get not, as full as the resistant starch, but you'll get what you need to make the onigiri. Because it gets stickier the longer you let it sit. <sighs> Why? Why do you have the keyblade? Shut up. Said it again. Just to say that word. Will it work? If we can maintain the simulated town, 
until Namine finishes chaining together Sora's memories. What Chain of memories? Masters? He holds half of Sora's power within him. In the end, he'll have to give it back. Until then, he'll need another personality to throw off his pursuers. Poor thing. It's the fate of a nobody. Waking man. Uh, uh, uh. Better not do that to my computer. Clayton would have to fuck up real bad for me to do that. You're not gonna do that, right, babe? Nope. <laughs> what happened? I looked away. <laughs> um. There's my salmon button. This looks like someone's data. <laughs> oh, that silhouette looks familiar. Quinn says, "Hey, Logan, I'm gonna pay you a quick visit. Don't mind the back." Oh, okay. I trust you. So uh, last night, me and Clayton obviously were not here. Logan held down the fort because we were going out to dinner for our uh, 10 year anniversary, yeah. wedding anniversary. Ah. And uh, we went to this sushi place. Oh my God, y'all. First off, we sat outside because it's like kind of like perfect weather. Like it's not hot, but it's not cold. It's like got a little bite in the air. So I was like, okay, I definitely got something that had like a soup. So I had a miso to get me warm and then I ordered warm sake hot sake actually it was not warm it was straight up hot and I got it and Clayton I was like Clayton's like I don't I don't want to have that and I was like just try it he's like oh I hate this this is awful and I'm just like ha ah, I love it it's so good it was it was in a craft and it was hot and it was fan fucking tastic my dad likes hot sake it's so good and but <laughs> the best part was that um, my food didn't come out forever. So <laughs> I drank a good portion of my sake and had just my miso soup for it, for food. Um, so I was like, I was, I was just a little bit tipsy. And I was facing the Simply entrance. Amazing, oh, Roxas. Axel. You really do remember me this time. I'm so flattered. But you're too late. Here we go. Two. 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 He has very pretty eyes. Very un unrealistic here, eyes. Burn, oh. So the floor is not going to hurt me? Okay. Okay. Um, I think so the, I the fiery floor just boosts his attack rather than hurts you. Oh, okay. So I was facing the parking lot. Oh my god, y'all. It was such good entertainment. Drunk me was just watching. Because it's like this tiny little parking lot with like a one... Oh, I'm hitting R, not F. Um, like this one little path in and out in a small parking area. And this is a very popular restaurant. Like, I thought, oh, we were kind of getting there late. Because they closed at 9. And there's so many people showed up after we even got there at 7, 7.30. Oh God, I wish I had dodge. I'm 
stuck in fire. I'm almost done with him. But like a car would try to pull in and a car would be pulling out. And I fucking loved it, y'all. It was so entertaining to me. And I was like, oh, Clay, oh, here we go. Oh, and he was just <laughs> laughing at how much I was enjoying this. Oh. Where is he at? There he is. Munchos try to hit F. There we go. Nope, didn't do it. Okay, got it. Got him. I was just trying to hit F. It, and there was at one point where this car's like trying to do like a six point, three point turn. Like, just trying to turn around. They were just six point. And they were ended up like on the fucking sidewalk in the bushes. I was just like, oh my god, this is great. I love this. I'm so glad we're not experiencing this ourselves. As there were so many almost accidents because people were trying to pull in and there would be someone there. They'd be trying to back out. Oh, it was so entertaining. My little drunk ass was just no like, ooh. <laughs> That's not true. I would. Did you see what Roxas so. said? No. Nah. He said, no one would miss me. Aw. Let's meet again in the next life. Yeah, I'll be waiting. Silly. Just because you have a next life. Okay. Looks like this leads somewhere, but the power of darkness prevents entry. That's the way to the computer room. We don't know what this is. Chest. I must open the chest. Donald. Goofy? Hey, Clay. Yep. Can I have another cheesecake? Yep. I was waiting for you to ask. I'll be right back. My plate's in here if you want to grab it. Uh, uh, I'll Donald is sleeping inside. Goofy sleeping inside. Yeah, it's dessert time. At last, the key blades chosen one. Who are you talking to? Me or Sora? To half <gasps> of Sora, of course. You reside in darkness. What I need is someone who can move about the realm of light and destroy Organization 13. Why? Who are you? I am a servant of the world. <laughs> and if I'm a servant, then you should consider yourself a tool at best. Was that... Was that supposed to be a joke? Cause I'm not laughing! Ugh. My apologies. This is only a data-based projection. Damn, he's got a lot of anger in him right now. He's going through a lot. He's got a lot of emotions going mm. on. Yeah, if you had not watched the synopsis of Chain of Memories, you're right. You must have been absolutely, completely and totally confused. Yeah. I hate you so much. You should share some of that hatred with Sora. 
He's far too nice for his own good. No! My heart belongs <laughs> to me. Yes, Shelby. We all were. And originally, I'm going to wait till after this cutscene. This is way too important. Sora. You're lucky. Looks like my summer vacation is over. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Title card. Quinn, oh, that's what we're playing. You mean we were asleep? I guess we must have been, or I don't think we'd be so drowsy. When do you think we went to sleep? Let's see. We defeated Ansem. Yep. Restored peace to the world. Found Kyrie. Oh, yeah. And then we went to look for Riku. I think that's right so far. Framework. What does your journal say, Jiminy? Gee, there's only one sentence. Thank nominate. Hmm. I wonder who that is. Something uh, well, what do you say we find out where we are? So, on what Sergio was saying, the original version of Chain of Memories wasn't the cutscenes that we saw in that video. The original version of Chain of Memories was on the Game Boy Advance. Completely different console. So, a lot of people didn't play it. And they had so they much... they didn't have access to it? It's not, they either didn't have access to it or thought it was just like some side game that was unimportant because it was like this weird like spin-off Kingdom Hearts game that was like a card battler and not really the same. So either they didn't have access to it or they just didn't think it was important, but they put so much important stuff in it. The thing that we saw the cutscenes from was a re-release they put on the PlayStation 2 after Kingdom Hearts 2 came out, which basically filled in the gaps. But it's like most people who play Kingdom Hearts 2, they're talking about all this stuff that's just like nobody knew what the fuck was going on. The only like saving grace was that technically Sora doesn't remember Chain of Memories either. So you're kind of on the same playing field as the main character. Uh, and it jumped console companies, Sony to Nintendo. That's right. Uh, Sergio that's says, what I was thinking, Sergio. Square Enix did a terabad job explaining to players what they needed for to play Chain of Memories. Uh, and by that, I mean they told no one. Exactly. Like, I don't understand why. 
Like, Square Enix made the game. Why would they not want to make money by being like, hey, you should definitely play this game? Were they not able to promote it because it did Switch? Consoles? I don't know. I, I really don't know why they did it. They might just not have been thinking about it. They were just like, oh, well, it's a Kingdom Hearts game. Our fans are going to play the Kingdom Hearts game. And almost uh, most people did not play that game. Gotta advertise the game. You gotta explain. Look how Sora got taller, so his sh like shorts are like real short. Oh, that's my Megman about the hot pants. <laughs> yeah. So she says my head cannon is that Kingdom Hearts is not designed to make sense. So they were like, whatever. <laughs> Look at them shorts. <laughs> See now you have access to Jiminy's journal. Ooh, that's weird. Whoa, oh, there's treasures. We didn't get any of them. Oh, no, I want to look at the maps. Nope. There's no map to look at. I was hoping. I was hoping. I'm sorry. Collection. Okay, let's get these set up. They're already set up. Never mind. Oh, we're gonna go more cutscene. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Sergio says, "Mighty Head Cannon is that Kingdom Hearts is not designed to make sense." They were just like, eh, "Whatever." Yeah, those are. Can we get him some new shorts, please? Oh, Roxas's abilities and money have been passed on to Sora. And mess up Sora's iconic outfit. He could have a little bit longer pants. It wouldn't it wouldn't be the worst thing. <laughs> Next is the boys are back. But it's the but it's the look. Oh, he's got stuff to do. He didn't want to go in the mansion. I don't think it would have messed up the look if they appropriately gave him the length of shorts that it should be. It's the same exact outfit from the first game. Literally the same outfit. You were asleep for so long, you must be kind of dazed. Don't worry if you forget what to do, just check Jiminy's journal. Don't go back to the mansion, you might fall asleep again. Besides, you should <laughs> check out what kind of place this is. I'm excited. I'm excited! Oh, crap. Yeah, I love it. I love you. Love you too, baby. Do you want to talk about the uh, the new show that Coach, uh, not Coach, but oh yeah, a Coach's actor is in. Been to this town. Uh huh. What's Do you remember what it's called? Hmm. Papa's house. Uh, yes, Daddy's house, it. or it might be Papa's house. It's in our Instagram reels. Yeah, let me look. What do you want? Uh, nothing. Just wondering what was back in. Ah, MSN.com has yeah, the answer. No, this is our spot. Um, what? You're new around here, right? I'm Pence. Hayner, nice to meet you. But we got stuff to do, so catch you later. My name's Olette. Hey, did you finish up the summer homework yet? Independent studies are the worst, huh? Homework. <laughs> hey, what are your names? Oh, sorry. Uh, we're Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Hey there. Sora, Donald, Goofy, we just met someone who was looking for you. He sure seemed in a hurry. He had a black coat on, so I couldn't see his face. But he had these big round ears. 
<laughs> they have to think that long? I mean, seriously, guys. Oh, Where'd sorry, you you're him? so At the station. silly. The station, thanks. Well, you better get back to that assignment. Later. Oh boy, the king's trying to find us. Yeah, let's get to the station. More importantly, if the king's out, that means someone else is out. Riku! Um. Yeah, so if you if you don't know this about me and Clay, we're big fans of this TV show called New Girl. And there's a character. Um. This way. Code name Coach, and Clayton can tell you the name of the actor. That is Damon Wayans Jr. And he's doing a new show with his dad. Yep, Damon Wayans Sr. And the show's who called... Was on, who was on In Leaving Color and is a very funny man. The original Homie the Clown. Homie the Clown, I forgot about that bit. Yep, and they have a show together called Papa's House. Where Damon Wayans Sr. plays... A radio DJ who's more than comfortable doing his doing it his way. While Wayans Jr. plays his son, a budding filmmaker who's stuck in a job he hates. So, they're both very funny. Does Can't it say when it's go. starting? I closed the page. Let's oh, see. It it needs to all say the strange what? enemies. Um platform it's going to be playing on? Uh, whattowatch.com has the answer. Uh, release date. <clears throat> October 21st on CBS. Uh, which means, what is that, Peacock? I think so, which we don't have. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Are, do they talk about streaming or is that up to the platform? I was actually, I was actually like really thinking the other day. I was like, I wonder how much Peacock eggs, because I found out that NCIS oh. is uh, on there. <laughs> you could just wait for the season to drop and then do a free month. Uh, comes with Hulu, with live TV, YouTube TV, Paramount Plus with Showtime, and Fubo, whatever the f Fubo is. Hey, we don't have any of those. Is that a clothing brand? It's Fubu. Stands for for us by us. Oh. Ha! That's stupid. I had no idea that's no, what that was. No, Sergio, we're not doing that. No, we are grown ass people that have good jobs. <laughs> we will just pay for it if I want to watch it. If I can't afford the extra twelve dollars to stream that, then I don't need to be buying Clayton a fucking chicken Big Mac. Right. And and something else has gone wrong. Giving up? What's this? Who could it be? Is he actually going to talk to us? I can't see his face with that cloak on. Your Majesty? Shh. You got to board the train and leave town. The train knows the way. I have no idea who this Here. is. The money Ansem stole from uh, Roxas. Mm -hmm. The king? Was that really him? It could have been. Yep, I know it was. Now we know he's okay. The king was locked in the realm of darkness, right? Yes. Oh. Good, good. Okay, we're going to get questioning. We just saw him. Yep. And if the king is here... That means Riku's here. He's gotta be. Well, I'm gonna go look for Riku. Then he and I can go back to the islands together. Kyrie's there waiting for us. What are you two gonna do? We're sore of the have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> look at that face on Donald. Your face. <laughs> 
What do you say, guys? Let's stick together for one more journey. To where again? We have to board the train. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Ooh, 5,000 money inside for some reason. And a crystal orb. Orb? A secret report written by Ansem. It can be viewed in Jiminy's journal. Oh my God, another cutscene. Wait up. Oh, were there collectibles I needed to get here? Um, there are, but this won't be the last time you come here. Just, I know they're saying, I'll never come here again. It's, you welcome. Okay. Back. Okay, cool. There are no missable collectibles. <laughs> All right, let's get on. Let's get on. Okay, let's go. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, Sora. You sure we haven't met before? Positive. Why do you ask? <clears throat> I don't know. Why am I crying now? Together. Right. See ya. Quinn says, are they sponsored by big ass fans? And Mike says, no, they're sponsored by sea salt ice cream. Good joke, you too. <laughs> Quinn asks, can they see this train now? Clearly. Well, this is the real world. That was in the replica of Twilight Town.
you know? I'm sad. We'll be back. Yeah, we can visit Hainer and those guys again. We're on the gummy ship. Gummy train. Guess that's that. Let's go. Go where? It's not like we have homes to return to. We don't exist, remember? Yes, it's true. We may not have homes. But there is some place I want to go. And someone I want to see. Same here. So, you think you might let us go? I know you're here to get rid of us, but... Diz wants to get rid of me? Go. You sure about this? I owe you both. For what? Castle Oblivion. You helped us. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. Thank you. Are they gonna be our new best friends in this game? No one answer. They're the final bosses. Oh, I'm gonna have to fight them whenever we go to the fucking Coliseum. <laughs> castle is this? It's not a castle. House. It's not a house. It's a building. <laughs> it's a tower. There goes our ride. Oh, for the love. I see chests. Is that the only thing you see? Oh, so now you abide by the labels? <laughs> Shut up. Talk about him and his boneless chicken nuggets thing. Oh. <laughs> they don't have Eat bones it. in them. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. I didn't want to go in the cutscene yet. No, hell no. I did not look down. Are you insane? What's going on? What part of Shelby has problems with heights <laughs> makes you think she's going to go look down? I some of my lackeys inside to see if the master in his here towers as big and tough as they say. Word is, he's a real powerful sorcerer, which would make him the perfect bodyguard for me. See, it don't matter how tough he is. Once he's a heartless, he'll do as I say. Uh-huh, well... That's right. They're those things that come out of the darkness in folks' hearts. Why, with all those heartless at her side, my dear friend know... Maleficent is gonna conquer everything. I know this voice, but why and can't I think of who I this is? Debt to pay, I'm going round to a bunch of different worlds and building an army of heartless. Oh, I don't know what his name is. Oh, why am I They're about to say it. Pip squeaks anyway. Go on, Scram. I'm behind schedule as it is. You ought to find something nicer to do. Oh, says who? Oh, look at that double, triple, quadruple uh, chin. You. Pete? What are you two Nimrods doing here? What are you doing here? You know him? We sure do. Pete's been causing trouble for ages. Our sons His are best friends. Banished him to another dimension a long time ago. I wonder how he escaped. <laughs> I got destroyed. <laughs> you want to know how, eh? Well, Maleficent busted me out, that's how. But we got and rid of her. Your world? No, no, no. 
all the worlds are gonna belong to yours truly. Cause uh, Maleficent's gonna help me conquer them. How would she help? Oh, okay. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you laughing at? Why, Maleficent's power is so great that... She's toast. Huh? Sorry, but Maleficent can't help you now. What do you mean? You! So you're the ones that did it! Well, we might have had something to do with it. Cocky little shit. Well, Riku Our turned into a dragon. Round up. Haven't seen these fellers in a while. We've been fighting those wiggly guys. All right, let's take these little things down. That was super. You just wait. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, messes with the mighty Pete. So mighty Pete, who lives in this tower anyway? Oh, you don't know, eh? Well, it's old Yen Sid. Of course, he's probably a heartless by now. Master Yen Sid lives here? Who is Yen Sid? Yen Sid is the king's teacher. Wow. Oh. Sounds powerful. Would you say he is Yen the Sid? I would. Okay. Nope. Miles gathered his chest before I say. Right. Go into the scary looking thing. I'm sure, they won't transport us anywhere. Oh, the question is can I fall off? Oh, okay. 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 oh the feet to heart. God damn, that was some rough camera work just now. That's going to happen before every major fight. Lovely. I love it. My brain's real big fan. Why did you spend so much time on these stairs? Oh, there must be more stuff I'm going to end up doing on these stairs. Okay. Up. I just used it for leveling. Oh, okay. The music cannot figure itself out. It's like, oh, we're going to have... Nope, we're going to change. Well, how else are you going to know you're in combat? I get that, but they've made it to <laughs> such a small time frame. It doesn't fit well at all. You know, I was just funning. Yeah, I think she should have done something different. I don't know what, but she should try to do something different with that. Level 8, y'all! My AP increased. I could probably get that other thing now. Block. Yeah. Well, it's a good thing we're on the job then. Job security. So the worlds aren't at peace after all? All that hard work for nothing. I thought that was already equipped. It is. Okay, let's check. Donald's is all used up. Okay. 
got a couple things. Alright, so I've got combo boost, which increases the damage of the finishing move on the ground relative to the number of hits in the combo. And I've got guard. Block, blocks, and shoots back enemy attacks using a parrying action with right click. We're going to go with combo boost to start. Go, go, gopher. Up them stairs. Hey, when am I going to get magic shit? I don't know. I have MP. I do know. Of course I do you know do. When you're gonna get That's it. fine. We got angry eyes. Master Vincent, excellent honor. Hey there. Show us, show some respect. So, you are Sora. Now then, have you seen the king yet? Yes, we did, Master. But we didn't get a chance to talk to him. Yes, the king has been quite busy of late. Therefore, it would seem that the task of instructing you three falls upon my shoulders. You have a perilous journey ahead of you. You must be well prepared. You mean, we have to go on another quest? <laughs> I was looking forward to finding my friend Riku, so we could go back to the islands. Yes, I know. However, everything in your journey, Sora, is connected. Whether you will find your way home to the islands, whether you will return alone or with your friend, and whether or not the islands will still be there. And the key that connects them all is you, Sora. I'm... The key? Chosen wielder of the Keyblade, you are the key that will open the door to light. Oh my god, Quentin, that's a great callback. I thought memory was the key. This book contains valuable knowledge you will need for your journey. Study. We gotta carefully. read. Hell they said yeah. you had a homework. Once you have finished, love it. We will speak of the enemies you will surely confront. <laughs> so just Sora can read. Summer vacation is over. We're back to homework. You're right. Do you mind if we take a quick potty break? I don't mind at all, because I have to potty. Aha. All right. Clay, you at your desk? Yep. All right, we're going to take a quick potty break, refill snacks or drinks, so we'll be right back. And Sergio's going to go on dance break. I'm going to save just in case before I read the book, because I don't know what's going to happen. Big chest. There. I'm shocked that opened. I Why? It's a map. I just figured a big chest like that, it's going to be like, you have to do something first or something like that. Uh, they usually put like super important items in the big chests, like maps and the like. Yeah, we're going to read the book. Oh, 
Okay, the beginning. Ahem. Each journey gives rise to chance encounters, and each encounter brings forth a farewell. When a farewell leads to a journey, the worlds open their hearts. There are those chosen by the light and those ensnared by darkness. Friends who share the same bonds, though their paths may differ. When you doubt the path trod thus far, when the hand you held is lost to you, gaze anew at the heart that once was, for all the answers are within. Alright, so we just got riddles. Cool, cool. Makes sense to me. A long dream, a sad farewell, hanging in the air in that world between. What is reality? What is illusion? The path chosen by the young boy leads to his memories. When caught in the stream of the days and nights going past, gaze anew at your steps, for there all confusion will end. And the future. Will the day come when this battle born of confusion will end? It is different things to different people. Can the reality be that which is hidden? The reason is mere existence. Still, memories can be believed. Be not afraid and trust your body to the soothing waves of your memories. By and by, your fleeting rest will be over and everything will begin. All right, cool, cool. We've read all the books. Wait a sec. How right. come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer. But while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Oh. Gorge, that must mean if I think so. Let me look it up. Light, them heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. If one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become it's too, It is Cory Burton. But you know this. He also does the voice of Dale. The heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. There are in fact two Dukus in this game. Yeah, dancing ones. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies. They don't exist. Now then, the being you see before you is known as a dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. I feel like we got some major Still, generalization going on here. Empty shells destined to return to darkness, but
The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13? While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the king first. What world could he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the king must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the realm of darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling. Longer though. pants! Those look a bit too small for you. <laughs> Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gore, Sora. You sure are growing fast. Uh, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's get us some longer pants, y'all. Poor Sora, those shorts break the two finger rule. You're looking like huh. a real hussy. Oh, the three fairies! Do you remember their names? I don't. I, I only know that one of them's fight. name is Meriwether. Riku and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us. There's nothing to worry about, right? Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. Ah, yeah, it is. Okay. Once you've changed, you're off. Not yet. These clothes will help you only as much... These clothes will help you only as much as your growth allows. Their true potential lies dormant. It's your job to unleash it. been told about you. Hurry up and try on your new clothes. That is after you prepared for your journey, of course. It's funny that Quentin picked out Cory Burton because I didn't know that Cory Burton did Dooku's voice in the cartoons. Let's change my clothes. Well, look who's here, dears. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. Oh, I love these I'll girls. Do the designing. Oh, that will never do. Oh, I love her little squadron. Oh, now, now, dears. But don't you like this better? Hold on. Are you certain? Blue. Ah, would you just decide? <gasps> oh, well. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Lovely. Oh, oh. Yes. 
He does look very dashing. I like this. This is a good look. Now those Actually, real pants. Garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. This game loves their orb. Oh, yeah. Big ball, people. Her voice. Garments also have other Which powers. one? The blue. But you will have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best. And thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you from Master Yen Sid. The blue one is Merryweather. Please help use the drive command to change into Valor form. Oh, Tess McNeil does hers. Or Neely, I think, is actually how it's pronounced. Tress McNeely. I don't know who that is. She uh, does a lot of, like, third, uh, tertiary characters on The Simpsons. Okay. Because her voice sounded familiar to me, and that's what, why I was like, well, who, who does that? Okay, so the drive command has been added. The gauge on your lower right is consumed for transformation. She also does Chip's voice. It is powerful as it absorbs primary strength. Party members disappear while transformed. So the crazy cat lady and Count Dooku are Chip and Dale. I think you dropped something. Hmm? You must have fallen out of your pocket. This is a final mix thing that they're introducing what you to. Is it? Part of a picture? Is this a gift too? Oh, we don't know anything about that. But if you found it in your pocket, it must have something to do with your adventure. Hold on to it, dear. In fact, you should hold on to any other pieces you come across on your journey. Jiminy's got it. I've obtained a puzzle piece. Puzzle pieces are scattered all over the world. Some can only be accessed after learning a certain ability. View collected in Jiminy's journal. <laughs> Quentin says, I always knew they were in cahoots. Oh, our ship. So you guys ready to go? Now, now, just a moment. Because of your previous endeavors, the worlds have returned to their original states. That means the pathways between them have disappeared. How do we get around? Do not fear. If what the king suspected proves true, the worlds have prepared new pathways along which you may travel. These pathways may be utilized by unlocking special gates. How these gates are opened, I'm afraid I do not know. However, the Keyblade will serve as your guide. When a beam of light radiates from the Keyblade, return to the Gummy Ship. Though the worlds may seem far apart and out of reach, they nonetheless remain connected by invisible ties. As do our hearts. Our hearts are connected. That is correct. Got it. But, be warned, as you proceed, the Heartless and the Nobodies will be using their own paths, 
corridors of darkness to travel from world to world. They may be attempting to link these dark pathways to the gates between the worlds. How that for? <laughs> now then, that is all the information I can give to you. Go forth, Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Everyone is waiting. Okay, let's no get pressure. going. Master Legend. We sure do appreciate the help. My goodness, what's that? Haven't we seen this somewhere before? Yes, dear. I wonder whose it was. Oh, Maleva! No, we mustn't remember her name. Oh, dear. She was a mean old witch. Oh, no. The memories are coming back. What'll we do? Oh, what'll we do? So if we remember them, does that mean they come back? That's not an actual question to be answered. I think that's a Sleeping Beauty thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Howdy, Sora. How you doing? Oh, okay. It's your favorite They're in our ship now. a uh, prettier way to show it. Oh. That's no good. Wait, I think it's a world we know. Um, try approaching the road at the bottom of the screen. When you arrive, press F to land. We're in Twilight Town. Land in Hollow Bastion. We've definitely been here before. Why are we starting here? Maleficent! Maleficent! Maybe they really did finish her off. Ooh, this castle sure ain't what I expected. No shine, no nothing. Oh, now what's gonna happen to our plan? It's Hollow Bastion. Gorge looks kind of different now. Uh oh, looks like we're gonna have to do some fighting. Oh.
out in the future. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to copy the URL, the call in Edge, and put it in Firefox and see if that makes it work. I don't know, it's weird. Town's defense mechanism. It did. Yuffie. Yep. Look out. All right, I'm going to try Firefox for this for a while and see if this continues to happen. There you go. Look at that flip. Sick flips. I'm awesome. Hey, you guys! Wait, how do you remember I who we are? You're still in top form. Everybody I remembers. I don't understand why we do. Looks like you're doing okay. Well, what did you expect? I want the others. Great. 
Are you asking why Yuffie hey, remembers who Sora is? Have you yeah. Seen the king and Riku? Uh, everybody remembered when he woke up. Oh, because they're all connected. Yeah. But I had a feeling I'd see you guys again. We may never meet again, but we'll never forget each other. Is that supposed to be Leon? <laughs> Everybody's working on stuff over at Merlin's house. Come on! Oh good, such a useful map. I knew there'd be something up here. In peepers. I just don't know what Edge would be doing to my computer to cause it to freeze. That could be easily a setting going on in there. Yeah, you can open up chess while in combat. Hell yeah. It's a puzzle piece for going further. Background settings and micro processes. What's down here? Ah, son of a bitch. That's not the way to Merlin's house. Oh, doesn't like letting me off track. Wants me to, like, play the video game as they intended it. Okay. There will be a point where they let the, they take the leash off and you can just kind of go wherever you want. I figured. <laughs> Oopsies. I forgot who I'm dealing with. Hey, what do you mean by that? Just think of it as a sort of Leon compliment. Follow me to the Bailey. There's something you need to see. I left a fight out there, so, you know, fair warning. Why, oh, Merlin? 
Oh, I thought it was you. Right on time. It's Brian! Sora and the gang you think he's wearing anything out. underneath that night dress? We'll count <laughs> Who, Merlin? Yeah. Right. yeah. He's wearing, like, board shorts. Oh, yes. oh okay. Well, cards, at least he was in, um... Uh, Sword in the Stone. Sword in the yeah, Stone. in the movie. Here. They're presents for you. <laughs> Merlin's ready to party. Party. Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. Kind of cool, huh? Hey, thanks, Leah. They Are these supposed me. to be you first? They remind me of oh, what tickets no. to Disney We're World used to, to look like. That's what I was about to say. Are these supposed to be Disney World tickets? I, I, they absolutely look like that. Just a moment. What about your magic? I know. Unlock it. Maybe you forgot it while you were asleep? Now, what am I to do with you? Those I'll have to lend a you a few spells, but be careful with them. They've got like a million pocket. Well, She's going to have hair fall out while she's taking a shower. Like, I don't have a problem with that. I understand that. That's just biology. But uh -huh. Picking it up and then just mushing it onto the wall. Where would you rather it go? The trash. But you're in the shower. So during the shower, it has to go somewhere. So you have to put it somewhere where it won't go down the drain. And I hate to tell you, I do that. I but do it Even too. with as much as we do that, we still get hair down our drain I have to clean out. Well, do you just leave it there when you're yep. done showering? Yeah. Yep. And let it dry into like a crunchy, nasty cracker? Yep. And then it's so much easier to throw away. Yep. And there's two people with long hair in this house. And I'm outnumbered, so I'm just going to shut up. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Logan's learning. <laughs> I'm just saying. I go. I lose so much hair every time. I brush my hair and I'm in the shower, like to get all the conditioner through it and everything. It's going to happen. Also, it's hair. It's not in your food. It's fine. It's hair. Oh, this is what I was trying to get earlier was the damn chest. And I accidentally went through the door. You really, really wanted to see Merlin. Yeah, let me tell you. I wanted to ask him all about his dress. It's not a dress, it's a moo moo. Okay. <laughs> Space. Yeah, we're very particular about labels, apparently. Why the fuck? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, yeah. So your magic recharges. You don't need to, like, fill up the bar. So if you use, like, a fireball, it'll slowly just refill back up. But if you use all of your magic, there's, like, a time period where it won't refill. 
So it's good to like keep an eye on it. Make sure you don't expend all of your magic so you can use magic more frequently. You have to eat some oysters. Um, oysters? Yeah, it's a. You completely deplete your your resources. You have to wait a while to get it back. Or you can oh, are you making oysters. a? Are you making a forest joke? I was making a uh, refractory period joke. Oh, I totally missed that. <laughs> I just remember us shucking oysters on the beach and just scarfing down oysters. Yeah. You, me, and Brandon are just uh -huh. bum, 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 the nasty slurp sound every <laughs> single time. <laughs> All right, I've eaten 300 oysters. Which way to the orgy? Because <laughs> I have a problem. Well, there's an encampment of mutants down the street a little bit. <laughs> Done. <laughs> You're already, like, marching off towards it. Oh. Here's this chick with 14 legs. Say no more, bruh. Here's this giant blob that rolls with hands on it. Oh, wait, no, that was Ooh. inside. That's inside, uh, yeah. <laughs> still, it <Oops>. sit. in charge too you called you're doing well who's that this calls for a celebration Feed all the nobodies while protecting the gates. The audio keeps going in and out for me. Yeah, I was hearing okay. that too. So make sure it wasn't just me. That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. I thought it was the call, but... Nope, definitely the audio again. Where are Goofy and Donald during this? Wasn't still leveling up, so Damn, this audio is weird. Huh. 
Leveled up again. Level 10. He said, save your potion. I uh, apparently I was trying. A truly marvelous weapon. Were it only in more capable hands. <laughs> <laughs> Show yourselves. Oopsie Daisy. Move! Now, do you think that's polite? Shutting me down like that? I said get out of the way! As if. You can talk all you want, but that won't change a thing. But we are gonna make you move. See, that would work if I were just any old dude. Except I'm not. I'm with the organization. Nothing any old about me. Huh. Tough talk for someone who stood on the sidelines while his nobody flunkies did the fighting. Oh, dear. I think you got the wrong impression. You gonna cry? As if. Why don't oh, I... Oh, Lord. We're, we're gonna really wear that one out. Really is. Remind me. <sighs> <laughs> That's right. He used to give me that same exact look. I guess you think you can psych me out by saying really random stuff. Gee, I just don't know. Be a good boy now. Wait! That's he got away. That was weird. Who gave him the same look? You know, I think he was just trying to confuse you. Yeah, you're right. Only one me. The Hollow Bastion Restoration Committee Honorary Member. <laughs> wow! Huh? What's this? Gorge, you think? Question that's, uh, Steve, that question about sliding the card, right here. Must have been the gate Yen Sid talked about. Oh boy. Sorry to run, Leon. But other worlds are calling. Organization 13. They look tough. Be careful out there. See you soon. Any cutscenes tonight? Okay, we're about to start the the Disney World's next stream. So. Oh, my eyes deceive me. Does he really have the power to wield the Keyblade? He's nothing but a boy. Give him a chance. It means he's straight as an arrow. He's pure of heart, unlike all of us here. He had better be. 
or else he's worthless. I truly hope he's enjoying himself on his adventure. <laughs> Maybe he'd like a hand to determine his fate. Hey, as long as it works in our favor, we can let him do what he wants for now. Then we'll all jump in if needed. Those are bold words coming from you. Are you saying you'll volunteer to take care of it if things go wrong? Huh? What? M me? No, you have the wrong guy. I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> you act as though you have a conscience. When was the last time any one of us felt anything? Truer words were never spoken. Well, I suppose the fun will have to wait. Do you know what happens to those who lose their true purpose? Inevitably, they destroy themselves. Gentlemen. The hero of the Keyblade has embarked on a new adventure. Make sure it is one he will remember. Now go. That guy's voice is awesome. Yeah. Got new places I could go. Does it matter which one I go to? Um, I don't think so. I know that there's like an air quote battle level, but you're also on beginner, so. I was trying to figure out what the battle levels were and it got all mad at me. I mean, if you want to look at the, uh, the, like, you can open up both of those ways. You don't have to, like, go to the worlds. This just on this door just unlocks the path so you can just fly there. Gotcha. What is this? These are the uh, gummy ship missions. Gonna go with the regular. Regular. Regular schmegula. Pew pew pew. Got it. Let's go. Oh, that is a much more aggressive than it was last time. Facing the wrong way now? Okay. Yeah, you're like facing back. It's weird, but okay. Sure. I honestly, I prefer these gummy ship missions to the ones from the first game. They're I'm more sure interesting. I'll get used to them. Nailed it. Full health. Hmm. Oh god, where am I? Okay. Oh god. There's so much around, moving around, that I lose track of where I am. Where am I? Okay. Jesus Christ. There's so much going on! Holy shit!
Oi. You did it. So now that opened up the pathway and you can just fly there. So there's no like warp. There's no having to follow routes. You just open you just, up the pathway. You can go wherever you want. You can do the mission again if you want. You can go straight to the next level if you want. East Castle. And I won't be able to see this one still to do that path. Okay, cool. Correct. All right. Can you still? Yeah, you can still land here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to sail, set sail here, land here. And we're actually going to save it there for the night because I have had a very, very long day and I am very, very tired. <laughs> I am very beat. So we're going to end a little early tonight. But hopefully we're past through most of the cutscenes of this game so next week we will just be playing actual story and moving things forward and having fun with that yeah you're on like like Disney World levels now okay you're gonna have a break from the deluge of Kingdom Hearts story you've just been hit with yeah all right well that's gonna do it for us tonight so thank you very much to everyone for watching if you like what you see the follow is free or you can go that one step further and hit the subscribe button. If you want to know more about what we're playing during the week, make sure you follow us on Twitter, threads, and join our Discord, where we post the schedule on Monday evenings, what we're going to play throughout the week. And go to our website, carpyboredom.com, to get links to all that information. No stream tomorrow or Monday, but Bill will be back on Tuesday. Check out our socials so you can see what we're playing. Yeah. But until then, everyone have a wonderful weekend. Good night. Good night, everybody.